Hey, hi team, welcome again to UFT training, right? So we are going to try with, you know, the downloading this UFT. So before going to download, you have to go to the site. It is a product of now Microfocus. Now this UFT is called as a UFT1. So we are going to see which version is the latest one. So today is 26th of Jan, right? It's Indian Republic Day. And in this day, we have started this in the session. Very good. Now see. So the microfocus.com uh, is there, right? Then E N U I. So I will give this uh, URL right in the chat box. So you can just register it yourself. And once you register it, you will get it, you know, the confirmation email. You have to just click on the confirmation email. And once you log in, you will get it the UFT download. That is, you know, the entire bunch right now. There is no specific for the UFT one only. So previously it was available, like, you know, the only uft1 so now i downloaded this you know i will show you that you know this is a totally bunch if you check it out the uft1 2021 and dvd so it was around i can see that you know the uh, like uh, it's 6.5 gb is around totally so we have to start with you know the installing this thing so let's start with the step by step how to you know the install it uft this is the latest version okay team so once you download this UFT one, right, DVD bunch, right, you have to extract this one. And then you can see that we have a different, different options team, like UFT function testing, right? Unified functional testing is there, UFT developer is there. Okay. And there is a one setup is also there. So say, for example, now, if I want to go with the UFT, correct, whether English version, Japanese version, which version would you like to install? So you can go and you can start directly in the for the setup so but what i suggest is better option is you have to start with this setup okay so right click on this setup right and then run as admin very important run as admin and then start this you know the installation part okay so once you start with this installation the screen you know the, you can see that we have a various options over here whether you want to go with the uft add-on you know the alm that is an application lifecycle management or you want to go with the you know, UFT one setup. So let's start with the basic thing. So UFT one setup. Now, once I try to install it, you can see that we have to download that. This is a prerequisite. Okay. So before going to uh, download this, uh, you know, install this UFT, we have to make sure that the .NET is installed in your system. If it's not there, then the, the you know, the UFT itself is getting installed all this stuff. So see, it will start with the .NET. If I click on the OK button, right? See, now it is getting started with this, you know, the uh, downloading this .NET framework and all. So yes, so it will take a little bit of time. We can take a pause of the year. And once the installation gets done, then we can start with setup with the UFT. OK, so now the prerequisite is almost done. Right, so it's installed the uh, .NET framework. Now we have to start with installing the Zoom, the UFT 2021. Okay, UFT 1 2021. So just click on the next button. You have to accept the agreement, right? So I accept the terms in the license agreement. If you want to go and see more details, then you have to read all this in the agreement. So it is a 30 days trial. So just click on the next button. So once you click on the next button, so it will install to in the install. In the by default location is like C program files x86 and the micro focus and UFT1. And these are called as add-ins. Now the question is what is add-ins or add-ons? Okay, so uh, in layman terms, I can say that it is like a service pack. If you heard about it, you know, the, in the long back days, like the service pack we have to install. So what exactly the service pack? That is a patches. You remember? Correct? The patches we need to install. Say Windows uh, 7 I installed. So the service pack 1 I need to install it. So that kind of the, you know, the add-ons are there. So it is getting supported for the ActiveX add-ins, Visual Basic add-in, Web add-in, right? Delphi is there. So you have to select the Delphi. Okay, I have a Java-based application. So I have to select a Java-based application. If I have the uh, .NET uh, add-in, then you have to select a .NET-based add-in. So what I did is I selected a .NET and the Java. The other rest of the part, if it is required, then and then only you people have to install it. Otherwise, you don't need to install it. Otherwise, your you know, performance will get degraded. 
in terms of right that the execution part and your system will get slow down so better option is i need right now is java and .NET. if i want to add the other zadding later on i can add it so there is an option that we can add the zadings later on so no problem so what i did is i selected this java adding and the .NET adding okay so you people can see that even the alm plugin alm stands for application lifecycle management it is a management tool basically okay so we can manage the entire testing life cycle that is what alm is okay now if you check it out here is the wpf adding should get installed okay our application is developed and the sample application might be in the wpf so this micro focus has you know the own sample application and this has been developed uh, in wpf so make sure that this wpf adding is getting in the selected okay and then you have to click on so by default location would be fine just click on the next button so once you click on the next button it will get you know the see whatever you know the by default settings are there okay set the chrome chromium age firefox options then configure internet explorer settings okay allow the run you have to say for example run. right now i don't want to get into this alm and all but yes whatever the by default is there even remotely we are not going to run the script right now so let me just you know the deselect this one i don't want to allow the running uft remotely okay so that is what i'm just deselecting this one the other step even remotely you want to alm i don't want to connect it right now so just focus on the uft okay so you have to select this first two options why i'm not selecting this two option i'm not going to use it if i select it and install it again you know the it will take more memory right so memory consumption will get more so better option is whatever i require I can install those options and finish it off. Okay, then just click on the install button. Now you can see that it is getting installed. Relation gets started, the procedure. Now UFT is very, very, you know, the interesting and very simple, basically. You know, it's easy to use. And previously it was called as a record and playback tool. So when it was launched, you know, the, the first word is, it was a Mercury's, uh, if you remember that, uh, Windrunner window based uh, application which was getting supported for windrunner have you heard about it before that windrunner no, no okay it was a product of mercury interactive and then the first tool was in the market that was in the mercury's um that windrunner and it was getting supported only for the window based application now after that the qtp has launched with the web based application okay so we'll wait. Uh, so we have installed this, you know, UFT and we got it the shortcut. So here it's a micro focus UFT one, right? And then the run result viewer. So we will get the final output in the re run result viewer. Okay. So before going to launch this UFT, so let's try to understand the basic thing. So you know why automation is, what is automation and why it is important, right? So what are the features of this automation? So let's start in the step by step to understand what exactly the automation is all about. Okay. Now let's start with the automation. So what do you think? What is mean by the automation basically? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Um, automation means um, executing any program automatically. Correct. Right. So let's try to understand what is manual testing right the testing is performed manually correct mm -hmm. it is called as a manual testing so similarly when anybody asks you what is automation testing so the testing is performed using an automation tool correct right and this is what it is called as automation testing now the question is okay how many tools are available in the market automation tools do you have any idea mm, there are many actually Yes, more than 500 plus, right? And so like Selenium with Java or any other languages, which is on mm -hmm. the top, then the UFT is on the top, Test Complete is on the top, right? So these are the five top, you know, the tools that are available in the market, right? Mm -hmm. That generally, you know, the industry prefer these tools. Okay. So this is all about, you know, the automation. So now why this automation is required, basically? Right. So we can try to understand that why this automation is required. The first point is it is fast. 
yes as compared with the manual testing it is fast say for example there are 10 test cases are there or hundreds of test cases are there so i want to execute 100 of test cases in a day which is not possible am i right correct yes if i go manually and there are hundreds yes. of test cases are there it's not possible to do it in a day then i have to yes. go with the yes then i have to go with the automation and it's very fast as compared with the human you know the interaction then it is a reliable okay it is automated means it's reliable we can believe on it like human being human being can make a silly mistakes like typos anything okay they can miss out something so we can't rely on the you know the human being whatever it you know that they does something then the repeatable repeatable in terms of what say for example there is a login window right and i want to launch this login window again and again so in that case i have to go with an automation so wait you know so this is a very important thing right so repeatable the, the particular task is repeating again and again so we have to get into the automation clear right okay it's yes, repeatable sir. right mm -hmm. now there is a script i have one script and this is going to be validate login window and that the in the particular script i can use it for the other you know the same project so the same i can say that the functionality is there so that you know i can repeat it again and again then enhanceable means if something is you know the enhance or updated something so i can go and enhance my script it is a programmable means yes we are going to use a web scripting over here so i can go and write it down or the program it if condition else condition validation part everything then it's portable means we can easily you know the move from one system to the other system and that's why we have to go with the automation is that clear yes sir okay now the next question is right you are working as a manual test engineer and now we want to get into the automation now you have a number of test cases you have written in the in the manual testing now which test cases are in the gate into the automation that is another question okay which test cases are there that we can get into the automation say thousands of test cases are there are we going to do all the test cases into the automation no. all the no no correct we have to filter yeah. out those test cases exactly mm -hmm. so those who are you know the repeatable say as example as i have already given the example like in the login window so that the particular mm -hmm. thing is getting you know the repeatable again and again again and again right so yes. that i can you know the get into the automation regression suite right so that is a re execute to check the application okay that is called as a regression suite then the large input is required say for example for the login window we required only two fields but if i have the registration form i have more than 15 fields so that is called as a large input is required so if i go and manually enter it one field second field third field so and so it will take a long time to enter the entire thing, right? Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> then the performance testing. Performance testing we can't do manually. Correct. I want to check that the particular website is getting, you know, the uh, what that the particular time it should get loaded. Right. So I can't test that and I can't hit, you know, the uh, that the particular website at a time by hundreds of users. Say hundreds of users are nothing but hundreds of resources that I required. Yes or no? And I have to pay yes. the hundreds of people that, okay, at the same time, you people have to click on the sign in button. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. So man manually, this performance testing is not possible. So we should go with automation. That's it. Now, the next is, say, for example, there is, you know, the company sign or even you know, the company logo is there. I want to compare that image. Then I have to go with the automation. Clear? Yes, sir. Now, what are the different parameters that we have to consider get into the automation? The first thing is AUT or application under test or system under test should be stable. That the UI should be stable. The first important thing. If your application is not stable, you can't go with the automation. Okay. 
right say for mm-hmm. example you are getting you know the change request uh say weekly or something like that it would be fine but if you are getting in you know, the change request daily day to day then it's very difficult to maintain that script so it's not possible in that case that the automation part clear yes sir okay then we have to prepare a checklist okay now what is a checklist checklist is nothing but it is a question bank it is a questionnaires okay list of the questions are there so which uh, tool is the best why this tool is the best right then we have uh, questions like okay whether this is a commercial tool or open source tool whether it is a freely available right whether we are getting the support so these are the question banks are there we have to just tick mark it and then select it okay right yes sir yes now the next important part is a dry run now what is a dry run question is what is dry run dry run is nothing but what we are doing right now that is a dry run itself now i installed it in the dry version and i am trying to explore it i am trying to check whether the application under test is getting supported by this uft tool correct and that is what it is called as a dry run say for example now you have three tools you have been selected like selenium uft and test complete mm-hmm. now you have to tell your you know the client that this particular tool is best and why correct mm-hmm. okay so you have to select this tools you have to perform the dry run and you have to tell that i have in the done everything using this uft and it is working fine if we are getting the support also right so this tool is the best tool okay, okay. and then get the sign off and then we can start in you know, the implementing this particular in you know, the framework into that tool using that tool clear okay. yes sir right now the next is uh, in the platform platform is nothing but the operating system so the, like micro focus uft it's getting supported only for this you know the window based application it doesn't support for the linux or the other os so this is what the disadvantage of this uft right now okay mm-hmm. it only mm-hmm. supports window based application okay and the very important thing that the coding standard is getting maintained when we start with in the framework designing right so that is what the coding mm-hmm. standard means see i am using something prj underscore say project name so you also going to use that in the naming convention like prj underscore something okay so mm-hmm. you also follow the some coding standards are there i also follow the coding standards so everything you know it it would be in the maintainable and the entire thing okay Clear? Yes. Sir. Very yes. good. Any question? Any doubt right now? No, sir. Very good. So thank you. Then next we are going to see you know the interface. What exactly how it looks like UFT and all. So we are going to see that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Happy learning.